medical campus and you're back here at Senate House. Yeah, we, now we are here, you know, we, we keep on changing our strategy because uh, we don't want the enemy uh, to start mastering our strategy because we are in a revolution here and uh, we are fighting intellectual thugs, people who are also strategizing in the background. But the reality of the matter now is that the students have taken a resolution that they are going to continue shutting down the university until their demands are met. And the demands are very simple, are those of no fee increment. So from here, students are eating now we have good Samaritans who are providing us with food and water and we still need more and then from there we have um, um, what you call we have the, the artists like Spiritana, AKA and quite a few they will come and perform for us in the evening and then we go and start we come back tomorrow we shut down again all right so the university chancellors and the Minister of Higher Education are in Cape Town as we speak and they're going to be discussing the way forward on the no fee situation what is your standpoint from there why is is it that you've still been protesting when all the vice chancellors are in Cape Town discussing this very issue? Look, let me tell you, I mean, uh, th this is a crisis that, that doesn't need a boardroom. This is a crisis that just needs logic and reasoning. That is a crisis that Platon Zimanze knew from the beginning of January. He has done nothing. He's been quiet. He's silent. He's, not, he's nowhere. He's missing in action. We haven't seen the Minister of Education. The anyway. Minister of Education said yesterday in a briefing that the issue of fees is not for the Department of Higher Education. It's for the individual universities. It means he doesn't know what is his job. That shortly is telling us that he doesn't know what he's doing. Then what is his job? We said to Plain Demand they regulate the, the, fee, the, the, the universities, control the monopoly of universities. Because as it stands, he has to regulate fees. He must control fees. That is his job. Now he's busy calling vice chancellors. If he doesn't have power over vice chancellors, why is he calling them? He's right. undermining us. Blaine Zimanja doesn't know what he's doing. And unfortunately, as a member of the African National Congress, I feel that a certain individual is failing everything that the ANC stands for. Currently, he's the one minister when UKZN was burning. Students at UKZN were protesting for a valid a reason. He said they are hooligans, about Koten. He calls them all sorts of names. Vet students, they protest. He says that. No, look. Students must go and study and leave protesting. Now, if we go and study, what happens in January? Because even NSFAS, it doesn't control NSFAS. But you're going to be writing exams in two weeks. What happens then? We will write exams not in two weeks. We will write exams when fees are decreased. We will write exams when the university says there is no fee increase. If it says in January, we write exams in January. If they say today we are ready to write exams next week because we are vet material, we came here with distinctions, we are vet material. If we are not vet material, we wouldn't be here. So they shouldn't undermine us because let me tell you, this thing happens every year where institutions of higher learning, not just vets alone, they know when they want to bring oppressive uh, uh, policies or oppressive rules. They bring them during this time of the year where students won't protest because it's exams. This time, no, they went wrong because we are prepared to push and hold the ground, not for us, but for those who are doing metric and those who are looking upon us from the township who wish to come here. So we are preparing the ground for a black child. All right. Thank you so much. That is Nebo Dlamini. He is the former president of the SRC here at the University of Johannesburg. But Krishni, he's made some critical points. He said the university students are willing to continue with their protest up until the issues have been resolved. However, they will continue studying for the exams that are expected to happen in two weeks. If their demands are not met, they will not write exams up until the no fees campaign of theirs has been resolved. Kirshni, back to you in the studio.